everybody. My name is Lin. I'm 12 years old, and I flo I from class 6.2. Today I will do my watch and tell. Before my telling about Ida Robot, I'm going to share with you some new words I have learned from this video. The first word is Dystopia. It's an imaginary future socket where everything is bad. The second word is nonverbal communication. It means a communication using physical gesture and facial expression instead of speech. The third word is appeal of something. It's a quality it has which people find attractive. And the fourth word is a better to word mean problem to be solved or an about this overcome. Iron something out. It means to remove of something solution to a problem. Question one. According the recording, what does Ida look like? What can Ida do? Ida look incredible, scary, a bit like dystopian robot from the future, and she has no skin. Ida can draw, paint, and create sculpture. Two, according the recording, who are referred as a team as of Ida project. What are they doing with the project? This they have early challenge. They have got a program and researcher working at Oxford University. Yes, they did have a challenge. One challenge of the team Fox was building a robotic arm that could allow either to draw pictures that were completely and excited, interested, and able to give your attention. The third question is: Do you think robot can dream, think, or fall in love with people? When can it do? I think it's can dreaming, thinking and falling in love or human experience and conscious needs, which involve complex emotion. It can do it when they see their real love with all the robots or human. The fourth question. The name Ida used a prevision for artificial intelligence, AI to make a woman first name. But with famous, real life Ida was a robot named after. The world project have inspired by real life woman. Ida is named after its Ada Lovelace, the 19th century English math mathematician and first computer program in the world. That is the end of my watch in Talbia. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.